Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to solve problems on oral series circuit. So the first problem is a coil having a resistance of 6 ohm and an inductance of 0 0.03 Henry is connected across a 100 volt 50 hertz supply. Calculate current, the phase angle between the voltage and current, power factor and power. Right. So first we are going to draw the diagram. Here we are having a resistor and inductor together and they are connected to a 100 volt 50 hertz supply. Right. So the first thing is we need to calculate the value of current. So how to calculate current? You see here we are having resistor as well as inductor. Therefore we should calculate what is Z. Right. Once you calculate Z, and when you take the ratio of V by Z, we can get the current. So, before proceeding with, first step is we need to calculate XL. So, XL is given by 2 pi FL. So, here frequency is 50 and the value of L is 0 0.03. So, when you substitute here, the answer is 9.42 ohms. Right. And... Next, we are going to calculate the impedance. So, impedance is given as square root of R square plus XL square. So, we know R value, we know the XL value. So, just substitute and calculate the Z here. So, how to calculate I? I is nothing but the ratio of V by Z. We know V as 100 and Z as 11.17. .17. So, that gives the answer as 8.95 amps. Right. So, here we had calculated the current. The next one is we need to calculate the angle between the current and voltage. So that is given by the formula pi is equal to tan inverse of xl by r. Right. We know the value of xl here. The value of r is given in the problem. So just directly substitute and here the angle is 57.5 degrees. Here we are mentioning it as lagging because here we are having inductor. Right. And the next thing is calculating power factor. Power factor is nothing but cos pi. We know the value of pi. So just substitute the value and here it is 0.537. Since because we are having an inductive load, again the value is said to be lagging. The final thing is we need to calculate the value of power. Right. So power is given by the formula Vi cos pi. The value of V is given in the problem. I we had calculated and cos pi also we had just now calculated. So just substitute the values accordingly and here we are getting the answer as 480.6 watts. Right. So first problem gets over here. We will proceed with the second one. So our second problem is a 10 ohm resistor and a 20 millihenry inductor are connected in series across a 250 volt 60 hertz supply. Find the impedance of the circuit, voltage across resistor, voltage across inductor, apparent power, active power and the reactive power. Right. So here you see we are having a resistor and an inductor. Right. So they are connected in series to a 250 volt 60 hertz supply. Right. So the first step is they are, asked, they are asking us to calculate the impedance. So impedance is nothing but Z, right? So Z is nothing but square root of R square plus XL square. So here the value of R is given. We need to calculate the value of XL. So here XL is given by the formula 2 pi FL, right? So the value of F is given, the value of L is also given, you see 20 millihenry, which is nothing but 20 into 10 to the power minus 3. So just substitute the values and here the XL value is 7.54 ohms here. Right. Next step is we are calculating the impedance. So the formula is square root of R square plus XL square. The value of R is given. The value of XL we had calculated. So here substitute it and the answer is 12.52 ohms. Right. So the first step is over. The next thing is voltage across the resistor and voltage across the inductor. How will you calculate the voltage? Voltage is given by the formula I into R. Right. So we know the we should know the value of I. So that we can calculate the voltage drop across resistor as well as voltage drop across the inductor. 
So how to calculate the value of i? i is given by V by Z. So V is 250 volt divided by the value of Z is 12.52. Right. So when you substitute here, we are getting the answer as 20 amps. So once you know the value of current, we can easily calculate the voltage drop across resistor as well as voltage drop across this inductor. So voltage drop across resistor is given by I into R. So the value of I is 20 into R is 10. So just substitute here the answer is 200 volt. And voltage drop across inductor is I into XL. Therefore 20 into the value of XL we have calculated. You see 7.54. So just substitute it and here the answer is 150.8 volts. Right. Now the next thing is. We need to calculate the apparent power, active power and reactive power. So apparent power is given by the formula V into I. So what is the value of V here? It is given in the problem. So just substitute 250 I we had already calculated. So 250 into 20 that gives 500 volt amps. So this sorry 5000 volt amps which can be rewritten as 5 kVA. Right. And the next thing is active power. So active power in other words it is known as real power as well as true power. So here the active power is given by the formula Vi cos phi. Right. We know the value of phi. We know the value of i. And as well as here. So here. You see how to calculate pi. It is given by tan inverse of xl by r. So XL we know, the value of R we know, so just substitute it and calculate the value of pi, right. Once pi is calculated, just substitute it here. So that gives cos pi as 0.8, right, power factor. So just when you multiply, we are getting the answer as 4000 watts, which can be rewritten as 4 kilowatts, right. And the next thing is we need to calculate reactive power. So the reactive power symbol is Q and here... The formula is V i sin pi, right? We know V, we know i, but we don't know sin pi. So how to calculate sin pi? It is given by square root of 1 minus cos square pi. So cos pi is nothing but 0.8. Therefore, 1 minus 0.8 square. So that gives the answer of 0.6 here, right? So again, when you substitute it here, you see 250 into 20 into 0.6. So that gives the answer as 3000 VAR, right? Volt Ampere Reactive. So here, which can be rewritten as 3 KVAR, right? So that's all. Here comes the end of this second problem. So if you have any doubt in these problems, let me know in the comment section. Thank you.